Grabe ha, it took me two days bago ko ma-figure out kung paano siya mapapanood sa I Want TV. Kung ikaw hindi mo pa napapanood at gusto mong malaman kung papaano, please stay tuned and I will tell you later. Alright, so as promised guys, I'm back with a new video and this is actually a follow-up video to my previous uh, video reaction sa trailer ng movie uh, Glorious Movie. And this time, uh, this is gonna be uh, not really a, a video reaction but more on like a, a mini or a short uh, review of the movie. Since this is a review, I promise I will not spoil you guys. Hindi ako magbibigay ng spoiler and if in case na kailangan na kailangan talaga, I promise I'll keep it to the minimum na hindi naman mag giveaway yung story or yung plot ng movie. Alright, so if napanood yung, yung previous video ko and uh, you are curious if what I think about this movie, I would say, it's a yes from me. just like what I hope in my previous video, I would say na namit naman niya yung expectation ko. Hindi man lahat, but most of it. Of course, we cannot really expect for all movies to be perfect all the time. Especially this one to think that this is a movie uh, na hindi naman talaga ipapalabas sa mga sinihan. But I would say this is much, much better and mas decente pa kaysa most of the movies na pinapalabas sa sinihan yung mga mainstream movies. Picture-wise, napakaganda niya. Napaka-modern ng kanyang dating. Napaka-fresh. At pag napanood niyo yung kuha nila, I would say it looks like an international captured motion film. Again guys, I am very proud uh, sa mga uh, pelikulang Pilipino lately, uh, especially uh, these independent films kasi they are much better talaga compared dun sa mga mainstream na mga pelikula ngayon uh, sa sinihan. In this movie, compared to the trailer, so far kung ano yung mga hot scene at saka yung mga romantic scene na nagpa-excite sa atin during the, uh, during the trailer, napanindigan naman siya during this movie. And I admit, yung mga love scene nila are truly hot. Napaka-enticing, napaka-exciting, talagang na, na, makikerid away ka talaga. At the same time, as sa nabagit ko na rin dun sa previous kong video and how they make this movie, hindi siya bastos. They show just enough skin na it will not make you uncomfortable uh, if you're not really into or sanay sa mga sexy films. If you're a person expecting na this movie na para sang maging 50 shades of gray na ganung level uh, I'm so sorry to tell you guys but hindi siya ganun as a matter of fact kung i-rate ko nga to yung movie na to I would say it just an R13 hindi nga siya R16 eh walang masisayang part na pinakita during the movie Actually, ang pinakamalupit na pinakita lang nila is yung uh, karog ni Tony Labrusca at saka yung puso ni Miss Angel Aquino. So, yung sa puso ni Miss Angel Aquino, pinakita na na meron siyang mga stretch mark kahit hindi naman talaga totoo sa totoong buhay. Uh, maybe because, of course, kasi yung character niya is portraying an older woman. Kahit ako nga eh, kaya ko magpakita ng karog na hindi naman magiging gastos. O oh, ito. Speaking of older woman... Nako Glory, napakaswerte mo naman talaga. Isang dasal mo lang na magkaroon ka ng lalaki sa buhay mo tapos biglang may niko ka na agad. Samantalang yung mga ibang babae dyan, napudput na yung mga kamay nila sa kanobena pero hanggang ngayon wala pa rin silang jowa. Yung anak mo lumande pero ikaw hindi talagang nagpapatalo. Pero in fairness ha, mas hot ka pa sa anak mo, mas mukha ka pang bata at mas sexy ka pa kaysa anak mong babae. Iba talaga pag Glory, pag mga Gloria, like si Miss Gloria Diaz. Na hanggang ngayon napakaganda at napakasexy pa rin. Si Miss Gloria Romero na nung 50s niya is napakaganda rin at napakasexy rin niya. At syempre magpapahuli ba dyan yung ating former president na si Gloria Macapagal Arroyo na ngayon ay eh, mas maganda at mas healthy na compared dati, di ba? Para sa kanila, age is just a number. Ito yung nakakatuwa sa movie na to guys is yung mga aral na gusto nilang i-share lalo na sa ating mga Pilipino. Kasi pag napag-uusapan yung age gap, most of us, yung mga ordinaryong tao is meron pa rin tayo yung tinatawag na social stigma. Na para sa atin na medyo pangit tignan na pag mayroong katandaan yung isang partner at lalo na pag babae yung medyo matanda ha. Ganyan naman tayo mga Pinoy, masyadong mapamintas. Pero pag mayaman, okay lang. 
O bakit ba si Vicky Bello at saka si Eden ko? Bakit okay lang? O bakit ba si Ai Ai Dress Ana at saka boyfriend niya? Sama man na rin si Aling Junisha, di ba? Pero alam nyo, may point naman tong movie na to eh. Kasi kahit na magkaedad pa kayo, pero pag hindi naman kayo rin magkakasando, so what's the point, di ba? Which is also telling us na walang age ang happiness. Eh, hindi mo kailangan na mas maging bata para magkaroon ng karapatan para mas maging masaya. And this actually remind me guys, kasi... Uh, just nung Saturday lang, um, actually nagpunta kami ng Tagaytay uh, to celebrate uh, a birthday, uh, one of the member of the family, and we went into a bar. And for the first time for how many years sa edad kong to, uh, dun lang ako ulit talaga nag-enjoy na sa isang bar. Uh, not because uh, na may inuman, kasi personally I don't drink talaga, but because uh, we had fun. Uh, sumayaw kami sa dance floor, uh, jamming with the people we love, jamming with strangers, uh, jamming at sumayaw na hindi ako nako-conscious na masyado na akong matanda para gawin yon. But again, bakit nga ba ako may hiya to dance with the people I love or to dance with a stranger? Wala namang age limit uh, to be happy and enjoy life, di ba? Also, another lesson in this movie is actually how you treat your wife. Uh, kasi minsan iba sa atin, uh, we say bad words to our wife or to your husband. We say things like, ang bobo mo, lagi ka nalang tatanga-tanga, wala kang kwenta, hina ng kokote mo. Ito yung mga bagay na we don't really mean it, pero it can really hurt and it can damage to sa moral at pagkatao ng partner mo. And hanggang sa darating sa point na parang, Um, instead of him or her being happy na kasama kanya, ang nangyari na nararamdaman niya is parang torture sa kanya yung lifetime na kasama kanya. Going back to the movie, aside from having this movie a very good uh, quality picture, nakakatawa din yung mga ibang eksena na Miss Angel Aquino kasi uh, mayroong mga part to na parang hindi na siya umaacting, na parang si just enjoying it. Minsan akala mo bloopers pero hindi pala. Yung mga ibang linya nga niya, parang mga improvised lang yun. Yung tipong parang normal reaction lang niya as, as a person. Which actually, it adds uh, fun to the movie itself. And of course, as I said earlier, hindi naman lahat ng pelikula ay perfect. Meron ka talagang pangit na masabi sa isang pelikula. Well, as for me, story-wise, uh, since they're trying to make this movie as raw as possible, uh, when I say as raw as possible, you know, they're trying to make the story na tap tipong yung talagang parang nangyayari sa sa totoong buhay na makaka-relate tayo. But then, meron ding mga scene We're in parang napaka-shallow ng mga conversation nila. Sometimes napaka-predictable din ng mga plot at saka meron ding mga plot holes. Saka meron ding mga kakaibang weird na ideas na ini-insert dun sa movie part ng story na medyo I'm having hard time to really relate to it. At medyo wala masyadong nakakasabay sa acting ni Miss Angel Aquino dun sa movie. Uh, kasi yung acting niya napaka-natural lang. Yung tipong parang hindi uma-acting, parang natural put. Uh, portrayal lang nung character niya dun sa movie. Kahit nung una si Tony Labrusca, uh, he's trying to be comfortable, pero meron pa rin yung certain level na kailangan niya mag-catch up para masabayan niya si Miss Angel Aquino. Pero in fairness ha, later sa film, uh, si Tony medyo nakakasabay na rin siya kay Miss Angel Aquino and somehow Uh, medyo nagkaroon na rin silang chemistry dun sa mga scenes nila. I think uh, si Mr. Alan Pauli lang talaga yung medyo nakasabay agad-agad uh, kay Miss Angel Aquino uh, when they're filming uh, the movie. Siguro kasi dahil matagal na rin siya as an actor. And also I think there's some technical uh, problem lang with some of the audio. Minsan kasi parang hindi mo masyadong marinig yung boses nila. Tapos meron namang mga part wherein boss lang talaga maririnig mo. Wala nang iba. Tapos minsan kasi mayroong mga scene na parang namumute yung uh, ambience or background music. May mga ibang scene din kasi na they're trying to show the beauty uh, of the environment o kaya yung set nila. But then, somehow parang kulang ng, ng music or kulang ng sounds ng ambience, ng environment. Parang kung isipin mo parang maganda din sana kung merong parang tunog ng tubig, tunog ng hangin, tunog ng, um, ng paligid, like you know, a nature ambience, yung sound ng nature para mas ma-appreciate, para mas immersive para sa mga nanonood, na talagang ma-appreciate din nila kung saan man sila uh, dun sa scene na yun. Also, some music does not fall right for the scene. Yung parang tipong kulang yung build-up ng moment para 
bago pumasok yung soundtrack. Pero of course, this is just my opinion. Hindi naman ako expert sa mga bagay na to. Maybe this is their artistic design, di ba? This is their work of art. Uh, kung baga sa painting, eh, hindi ko naman pwedeng sabihin kay Vincent Van Gogh na, hoy, hoy, uh, blue ang gamitin mong kulay, wag yung pula, ayusin mo yan. Pero, I'm just saying what I think and what are my observations about the movie. Pero other than that, I am happy with the movie overall. At yung ending niya, I am also happy pero medyo naiinis ako. Pero gets ko naman kung ang gusto nilang gawin is tayo yung pag-isipin nila na kung anong gusto nating ending. Para bang binigyan nila tayo ng senaryo dun sa uh, last part ng movie wherein parang tayo na lang bahalang mag-isip kung anong gusto nating mangyari para sa kanila. O oh, ayan ha, medyo spoiler yon And if kung gusto nyong malaman kung ano yung sinasabi ko, so panoorin nyo na. So again, so mga hindi pa nakakapanood, panoorin nyo na to sa I Want TV. Uh, itong movie na to, specifically hindi mo siya mapapanood sa website nila sa iwantv.com.ph. Hindi doon mapapanood. Yun yung problema ko nung una. Ang kailangan yung gawin, kailangan yung mismong i-download yung mobile app sa cellphone or sa tablet. Uh, sa Google Play Store or sa App Store. Also, you can register for free. Hindi nyo kailangan magbayad. You can use any of your email address. You can also... Uh, use your mobile number at kahit anong network mapaglobe, mapasmart mapasan man kayo and no need for premium access so uh, I tried to use a non-premium account and still I was able to watch it so but then uh, meron lang siya mga konting uh, commercial um, sa start ng movie or maybe during the movie uh, but if you want to switch to a premium access, uh, I think it's about 120 pesos per month, yung premium access niya. Uh, you can charge it uh, to your PLDT bill or pwedeng basta meron kayong load, pwede nyo i-charge sa cellphone niyo kung postpaid kayo, i-charge nyo sa postpaid account niyo. But then it's not required for you to have a, pre- a premium access to watch this movie. At kung meron na kayo dati pang app, uh, make sure to update your app uh, as of the latest update is as of November 19 which is today or else hindi nyo hindi siya maglo-load yung mismong movie itself it will only load the trailer I think kaya nila ginagawa to uh, that's why the reason why you cannot watch it uh, from the website kasi maybe this is their measure to avoid dun sa magda-download or para ma-pirate yung movie which is of course understandable naman ba? we should always support them kung gusto natin makapanood ng magagandang uh, uh, magaganda at dissenting pelikula then we should always support them Oh, sya. So again, guys, thank you for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any comment, please leave a comment below. I will definitely read them and reply to them. Uh, also, if meron kayong mga suggestion na movie na gusto nyong uh, try kong panoorin and, you know, if you want to hear what I think, uh, just let me know. Then I will uh, check them out and let you know if I will uh, publish or, or create a video uh, about it. So again, thanks a lot and uh, see you next time. I will post another video uh, next week, probably next week. So hopefully you'll be there to watch it again. So have a nice day and thanks a lot. Bye-bye.